Good evening, everyone. My name is Maria Paredes. I've been living in the San Fernando Valley for 13 years. Well, probably a little bit more, but um, it's a great community, and I have the pleasure to work as a professional fundraiser with CSUN and the Soraya, and I have uh, the pleasure of working, of course, with the visionary leaders there, President Diane Harrison and Executive Director of the Soraya, Thor Steingraber, and we're working on a really interesting project called Liberate the River, and it comes out of who CSUN is um, as a third largest university in California. Uh, we have, we're in the leading role in sustainability with a 10-year plan, and we plan, plan to be zero waste um, pretty soon, and also by 2040, uh, we want to reach climate neutrality. Uh, so I'll share more about what we're doing. Uh, so we have a sustainability center that is um, net zero, by the way, and it opened in 2017, uh, so there's a huge emphasis in integrating sustainability at all levels on campus, and this building definitely helps us. Um, and then, as the Soraya, we're a performing arts venue, and we are a leading organization um, in arts innovation, involving artists from all over the world. Uh, we have a seven series um, that we present throughout the year, and also we prioritize involving artists um, who talk about the environment, um, both on a local and global scale. Last year, we presented Global Currents, which talked about water as a scarce and precious resource um, for humanity, and we invited the Nile Project um, to come and perform, and we had a day-long festival. Um, so this year, what we're doing is that we're collaborating with Lynn Newman, who runs the um, New York-based Artichoke Dance Company, and also we're partnering with Steve Appleton here, who runs the LA River Kayak Organization. Kayak Safari organization, and they're uh, leading our students um, in the art college through a four-phase project um, around Frogtown. And as you know, the LA River, um, there's uh, ver various initiatives, including um, the LA River Master Plan, and also there's 21 new development developments along the <laughs> river that focus on building work and play and and shopping centers. So, so we're looking at Frogtown specifically um, as a site for our students to explore the ecosystem and the neighborhood there and the issues surrounding it. And through the four phases, um, our, our students are going to collect Arundo Donax. Um, Arundo Donax is a native species of Spain that is taking over many of our plant, native plant species in the river. And the art students are going to collect it. The best method to remove our endodonax is by actually just removing it and and then removing all the rhizomes from the ground. And traditionally, herbicide has been used in the river, so they're trying to bring awareness in a way of uh, healthily removing the the reed that you see there. And through the four phases, they're going to build sculptures. Um, dance students are going to choreograph um, new pieces, and also our film students are going to create documentaries. And then we're going to have a kickoff event on October uh, 26 um, at Frogtown that will involve local artists. Um, Lynn Newman is going to also have a panel, and she's going to facilitate that discussion with artists as well and the students um, as they're progressing through this project. And then our last phase will be a multidisciplinary festival um, that will integrate all of these different pieces together and educate um, the festival goers about the different issues around the LA River. So thank you. I hope you will join us for one of those events. And also, if you want to partner with us, um, let me know.